Hello everybody, this is Nathan. I want to thank you for um, sharing my information with your friends and your family and I ask that you continue to do so. My goal is to get this out to as many people as possible. Um, please subscribe to my channel. If you like what I'm presenting here, the information, please uh, click like. Um, again, I want to thank you for your support. And today I'm going to do a video. This video is difficult for me uh, because I'm exposing myself in such a way that it's, it's kind of personal. Um, but it is part of my Lyme disease and I think it's important to, to show uh, what I'm about to show you. Um, one of the side effects that I have from Lyme disease are rashes. And I've been informed by my medical doctor that these rashes are due to an increase in candida because the, the gut is affected by the Lyme disease and the antibiotics. Now I am taking high dosages of probiotics to counter it, but it has affected my stomach and my immune system over the past several years. Another thing that I'm dealing with are several co-infections of Lyme disease. Now these co-infections affect me in many different ways and one of the ways that they affect me is I get rashes and uh, lesions and blemishes on my body that I otherwise didn't have. Before I got Lyme disease, I didn't have this. I want to make it clear this isn't like acne. I have been uh, evaluated by medical doctors for this and my Lyme medical doctor has stated that this is due to uh, increase in candida and co-infections of Lyme disease which have been identified. So I'm going to show you um, some of these rashes and uh, again you know I want you to share this information. Um, this is one of the side effects of Lyme disease and it's it's an emotional one you know it's it's not easy to um, you know, get these rashes on your body and anyway I am gonna expose this, I'm gonna share it because I think it's important. I'm gonna be wearing these goggles, these goggles have four layers of car window tint spray on them and a flashlight is going to be shown on my back so that you can get a better view of uh, what I'm about to show you. So I'm going to put these on as a precautionary um, in the event that the flashlight could get in my eyes and could cause a seizure. So. You'll see by looking at my back that there's all these bumps and lesions and they're very painful and there's many of them. I have them on my shoulders, on my stomach, and on my chest as well. Um, more so on my back and that's why I'm showing more of my back. but. When I touch my shoulders and my stomach, I can feel them. I mean, there's literally tens of thousands of these things. And um, I am on antibiotics to clear this up. But, you know, so far it hasn't done anything. Now, A 
again, you know, it's not easy to expose something like that. Um, I'm not, you know, this is the first time I've really even shown people, but again, it is a reality of what people go through with Lyme disease. And I think it's important to, to show the, the physical, outward physical um, symptoms of, of Lyme disease. Um, I am in the process of, of using a product um, to, to, to help cleanse my body. Um, this is an internal infection that's coming out of the skin um, is what this is. Um, again, I have been evaluated. It's not acne. It's not something that, you know, the average person is going to have, but people who have Lyme disease may very well, you know, experience this. Um, this actually came about where before my skin was completely smooth, I didn't have any of this when I went off of antibiotics. I went off of antibiotics for 35 days, and within that period of time of being off the antibiotics, this is what developed. Um, if you have any information about this, you know, how to you know, cleanse the skin, uh, any sort of like internal cleansing products, anything like that at all, you know, please let me know, please share this information. Again, this isn't easy to share, but it is necessary. Um, please share my videos with your friends and your family. Please subscribe. I really do appreciate your support. Let's get this out to the masses. Again, this is Nathan, and I wish you the best. Thank you.